Greetings and grace and peace to you today. I pray that you are coping as best as you can during these days of the coronavirus pandemic. If there's one thing that is certain about these days, it is that there's very little that is certain. The coronavirus has had unpredictable, unimaginable and unprecedented effects on people and nations all across this globe. The rates of infection and casualties are staggering, and these days have been as uncertain as they can get. Each morning we wake up to a new set of rules and guidelines to adhere to, and for good reason. They are put in place for our protection and for our safety. And so we will adhere and we will adjust. There are some things that were true when we went to bed last night and that are not true when we woke up this morning with respect to the coronavirus and its effects. Every day we are learning surprising things about this virus and its brutal effects on our very way of life. But you know, in the midst of so much uncertainty, I want to remind you of one thing that will not change, and that is God and his love for us. God loved us yesterday, he loves us today, and he will love us tomorrow. God loved us before the coronavirus. He will love us during these difficult days, and he will certainly love us afterward. He walked with us yesterday, he will walk with us today, and will, he will walk with us tomorrow. The writer to the Hebrews reminds us in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Did you hear that? Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We can trust God because he has a track record of faithfulness. You know, there's a story in the Bible where a couple of women wondered about the track record of Jesus, whether his timing wasn't a little off when he didn't show up when they needed him most. You know the story. It's in John's Gospel, chapter 11. Lazarus was ill, and his sisters, Mary and Martha, called for Jesus, believing that when he came, he would simply touch Lazarus with his hands, and Lazarus would be healed. Jesus was just over in the next town, about an hour's journey away, and yet it took him four days to arrive where Mary and Martha was. By the time Jesus showed up, Lazarus was dead and placed in a tomb. And Mary and Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. In other words, they were saying to Jesus, what took you so long? You said you cared. You're supposed to be our friend. But where were you when we needed you most? You know how the story ends, don't you? Jesus would raise Lazarus to life, and Mary and Martha and all of the people gathered in that town would know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God is faithful and that God's faithfulness could not be interrupted by time or by distance or even by death. God's faithfulness cannot be interrupted by time, by distance, or even death. In these uncertain days, when our lives have been turned upside down, when our lives have been interrupted, I want you to know that the coronavirus cannot interrupt God's faithfulness to you and to me. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let me say that again. The coronavirus, nothing else, can interrupt God's faithfulness to you and to me, because he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Like Mary and Martha, many of us are wondering, Lord, where are you when we need you most? Lord, when are you going to deliver us from this horrible pandemic? Lord, when, where are you in the midst of our worries and our panic and our anxieties? I want to assure you that he's right where you are. 
He's never left your side. He promised that he would never leave us, that he would never forsake us. And he is a God who is true to his word. His word is certain. His faithfulness is sure. The word of God says that when we pass through the fires, God will be with us. When we go through the waters, he will be by our side because he is faithful to his word to be with us through all the changing scenes of life. Yes, the coronavirus has brought much uncertainty into our world and into our lives. There has been a great strain on the healthcare systems of this world, including us here in the Bahamas. Our economy is under great threat. There are thousands of people who have been laid off and who are today wondering, Lord, where are you when I need you most? What am I going to do? But you know, in the midst of all this uncertainty, we can trust the faithfulness of God. In the midst of all of the worry and panic, we can trust the certainty of God's love for us and his care over us. God will see us through. He's faithful in fulfilling that promise. The Bible reminds us in Psalm 91 verse 4, it says, He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. I like how the good news version of the Bible translates that verse. It says, He will cover you with his wings, you will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. God is faithful. He is faithful yesterday. He is faithful today. And he will be faithful to us in the days ahead. Father, I pray that you would bring to our hearts and our minds your peace and remind us of your presence as we go through these difficult and challenging, challenging days. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the surety, the certainty of your word, that whatever we go through, you will be right by our side. In fact, you will give us the strength and the grace and all that we need to endure and to overcome. And so for those whose hearts are filled with worry and anxiety and care, I pray that you would breathe the word of peace, that you would breathe the word of calm, even as we keep our hearts and minds fixed on you. Thank you for your peace in these days. Thank you for your faithfulness in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, be encouraged today. Stay in faith by staying in God's word and by staying in prayer. I encourage you to hold on. It's difficult, I know. So many uncertainties, but we will get through this. God is with us. All will be well, because great is his faithfulness. God bless great you. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercy. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me.